Did you know? An adult female sand tiger shark typically gives birth to two live young at a time. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. The Chesapeake Bay is a prime spot for outdoor recreation and a place where many watermen make a living. But as some of the bay's most important natural resources have been dwindling, the efforts to restore them have been growing. Take a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm right behind, right inside. Our trip began from the public docks at Bellevue, and I had about 20 minutes to imagine what I'd soon see happening at the mouth of the Choptank River. Patricia Campbell, Patricia Campbell. What we found had a name, the Patricia Campbell, a working boat fitted with a crane and a deck filled with precious cargo disguised amongst a mountain of concrete shells known as reef balls. These reef balls are igloo-shaped or half-dome-shaped concrete structures that were actually made by uh, Chesapeake Bay Foundation volunteers and staff. It was all funded by NOAA uh, through a grant from an organization called Restore America's Estuaries. Say it again. Uh, two of these flag buoys yeah. should mark the southern two corners. Preloaded, you could say. Each one of these 350-pound reef balls arrives covered with hundreds of tiny oysters, prepared in off-site underwater setting tanks filled with millions of microscopic oyster larvae. The larvae attach themselves to the pits and crevices on the surface and quickly grow into a more recognizable form, complete with a small shell. Through an impressive process that takes several hours to complete, the reef balls are rigged and lifted from the deck three or four at a time. Then gently lowered into the depths below. A process this crew will complete at least three times this summer. We're helping what Mother Nature, uh, what Mother Nature did for thousands of years here perhaps, um, but then man sort of uh, intruded, and so now we're just uh, acting like the doctor, uh, restoring what Mother Nature can do. We're putting her back to work, basically. Over the course of a few years, the Sanctuary Reef is taking shape. This underwater video, courtesy of the Maryland Artificial Reef Initiative, shows young oysters growing into adults and populations of fish and other sea life mingling together around this unnatural structure. And with several reef ball drops completed this summer alone, this work in progress should keep working for a long, long time. While you can't harvest oysters from a sanctuary reef area, you can fish around them and they make great fish habitat. To find reef locations on the Chesapeake, check out the Outdoors Del Marva section on WBOC.com. Coming up next, our Outdoor Product of the Week and your chance to win this Perception Sound 10 kayak package from Survival Products. We'll show you how to enter. And still to come, magnificent images from the area's premier wildlife photographer. Get wild with Kevin Fleming, later on Outdoors Del Marva. But first, did you know? The Eastern Hercules beetle can lift up to 850 times its own body weight. 